Okay. Losing your phone is a really difficult thing to process. You know, you bought your phone with so much excitement and there's so much information sitting in there which goes away when you lose your phone or when it gets stolen. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that you can do in advance to make sure that that process becomes as easy on yourself as possible. And hey, this can happen to anyone any day. So it's important that you act on it right now. All right, let's get started. First, you've got to make sure that you've got advanced location tracking turned on. And that depends on your manufacturer. Let me explain. So all Android phones by default have a find your phone service activated. So if you're logged into your Chrome with the same Google ID as on your phone, it will locate your phone. But the functionalities are pretty limited. You can only either play sound, secure your device or erase all the content on it. That's it. But let's say you had a Samsung phone, for example, and you did sign in with your Samsung account on the phone. In that case, you could go on to findmymobile.samsung.com, sign in with the same Samsung account. And now not only can you track and locate your phone, you'll be able to create backups. You can retrieve calls or messages. You can erase data. Uh, you could lock and unlock, extend battery life and a lot more. So if you see, I've got a bunch of options and I can actually back up my phone as long as it is turned on. Now that was Samsung, but depending on your phone's manufacturer, they may provide a service or a software that enables this kind of tracking. So make sure that you find that out, set it up and try it out just so you know how it works. Now, the worst thing is not that you lost your phone or that it got stolen, but the fact that you lose all your data. Sure, one solution is to take periodic backups, but that could be a bit painful because A, it's manual and B, you have to remember to do it. But what I typically do and what I recommend you guys to do is to have it all synced up with cloud accounts. So all my photos and videos, they're always synced to my Google Photos account. Uh, they're always sitting there. You could sync your photos and videos to Dropbox or any other cloud storage service. My contacts and WhatsApp conversations are backed up to my Google account. My notes, app settings, call logs, SMS, phone settings, those are all backed up and synced to my Samsung account. Well, that's because I'm using a Samsung phone. And so with all of this, I've pretty much got a clone of my phone's data sitting on cloud. So whenever I lose my phone or I change my phone or if it gets stolen, I just sync those accounts onto my new phone and all the data just flows right back in. But of course, if you're paranoid about, you know, your data being on the cloud, then you have to resort to manual backups. And guys, before we move on to the next one, if you're finding this helpful and useful, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like these. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. Anyway, let's move on now. Now let's talk about the next one. And this is pretty tricky. Okay. Let's say you lose your phone and you get yourself a new phone or you borrow from a friend and you try to log in with your Google account. When you do that, it's going to ask for verification information and Google sends that verification information onto your old phone which got lost or stolen and you don't have it. So you sort of get locked out of your own Google account and that can be very annoying. But there are a couple of ways around it, but you gotta set it up right now. First, check the alternate email ID and the phone number associated with your Google account. For that, go into manage Google account, then go into your security tab and then scroll down and you'll see a place where it says um, ways we can verify you. And over there, look for the recovery phone and recovery email and make sure both of them are most recent and something that you still have access to. Next, you should totally set up two-factor authentication on your Google account under your security settings if you haven't already done so. Because with that, even if someone knows the password to your Google account, they cannot sign in unless Google knows for a fact that it's you. But more importantly, it gives you backup codes, which is an amazing way to sign into your Google account, especially if you don't have your phone with you because you know you lost it or it got stolen or maybe you're traveling. But just make sure that you download these backup codes and you keep it somewhere really safe and somewhere that you can access very easily. Try to disconnect that from your Google account, just you know maybe a Dropbox or uh, just, just a chit in your wallet. Just keep it with you safe. And lastly, store your IMEI information and your phone's serial number. This comes handy when you decide to register a complaint with the local authorities or with the cops that your phone has been stolen. That's the info they're going to ask you for because that's the way they can track it. Also, it's really helpful to sometimes gain access to some accounts that you've forgotten your password to. And there are multiple ways in which you can get this information. So first is just to take your phone, open the phone dialer and dial star hash zero six hash and you'll get this information up front and you can simply copy and paste it from here. 
If you don't have your phone, you can look it up on the box that the phone came in and there would be a sticker that will show that information. If either of those two don't work for you, you could actually look up your phone's invoice of purchase. Uh, if you don't have the invoice, you can call up the store or chat with an agent uh, from wherever you purchase this. And lastly, you can also call up your telecom operator and ask them for this information. And that's pretty much it guys, you know, I know losing a phone is a difficult thing to process, but just doing all of these things that I talked about just makes it a little easy on yourself. So I hope this was really helpful. And if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. Actually, if you guys have any tips uh, on top of all of these things, make sure you help others out in the comments section. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If this was helpful, make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.